we had several people say this to, to us when we were out soul winning it. It was people that may, weren't even necessarily interested in hearing our gospel presentation, but this is what several people said to us. They said, we're glad you're here. They said, keep, keep up the good work. And this is what several people said, this neighborhood needs what you're doing. This neighborhood needs uh, someone to be out there preaching. That. And it was interesting because they weren't even really interested in hearing the gospel, but they knew that what we were doing, they knew the fact that we were there. They knew the fact that we had the word of God with us and we were trying to preach the gospel to people. They said, this neighborhood needs uh, this place. And you say, well, why is that? Well, notice in John chapter 10 and verse 10, notice what Jesus said about the enemy. John 10, 10, Jesus said this, the thief, and he's referring to Satan, and he's referring to the demonic forces, because we are in a spiritual warfare. He says, the thief cometh not. I, I love how the King James Bible phrases these things. He says, cometh not. And what he's saying is this, the thief doesn't come. The thief will not come. He says, but for, he says, but for except these things. The only reason that the devil, that Satan, that satanic forces are interested in Fresno, California uh, is for the same reason they're interested in any city or any town or any community or any individual. He says, the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. He says, look, Satan wants nothing more than to destroy people's lives. This is why Peter would tell us, that he said, be sober, uh, uh, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about, see, whom he may devour. And look, when you look around, and Fresno is no different than any other city in, in, in the state of California, when you look around and you look at people, you look at the bondage they're in, you look at the problems they're in, you look at the issues they have, you have to realize, look, we are a church primarily. You say, why are we here? To help people, for the welfare of the people. Here's why. We believe that when you uh, uh, read the Bible, when you study the Bible, when you apply the Bible, when you actually begin to live, not only get saved, look, that's our, our main goal and our first goal is to get people saved, but we believe that if you actually begin to live the Bible, it'll help your life.